fuck off. We gotta go. Why is the fucking radio on? Cause I'm lonely. I like music. It helps me concentrate, meditate, get everything done. He knows when I record the radio is not supposed to be on. He knows that. He has been here for a year, remember? He's Mr. Know-it-all guy. I'm the asshole. I'm the guy that tells him to fuck off. And I'm the guy that calls him loser that nobody likes. But you know what? The radio's gotta fucking go! If you look here in the distance, if you look as I'm walking, you're going to see there's a lot of shit going on over here. A lot of fucking work in my friend Pete's shop today. Uh, we got a Mustang and half the fucking car's missing right here. We got a 34 Ford that we're building. Badass ride, to be exact. Convertible. Looking fucking good. But we got to close the shop down. It's got to go. We got other exciting things going on right now. And what we're doing, we're going down to Dave's t-shirt shop because today is the day that my friend Pete is getting his new t-shirts and you could be one of the lucky guys that owns one. Did you hear what I just said? Yeah, he said you're going to get t-shirts. Right, put the fucking... Uh, I'm not going, on. it'll take two people put to go brush. get t-shirts. Yes, it does. We're going no, it there. doesn't take two people. I don't have time anyway. Yeah, you do. Let me see that get. paint. Okay, let's go. Lock it down. Okay, yeah, are you in the camera there? Let's see. There, okay. What's your fucking problem now? We're on our way. This is an exciting fucking day, dude. Oh, I'm all peaceful. We're getting the four color fucking SWRNC t-shirts today. Woohoo! It is a woohoo deal. Most of my, all my t-shirts are single color. This is a big deal. And guess what? These aren't regular t-shirts. These are beefy tees, bud. I went out on the limb because my friend Pete's the guy that if I can't do it right, I don't want to do it at all. I decided, fuck this shit. I'm not getting cheap t-shirts. I'm not selling cheapos. I'm selling beefy tees. Obviously, you don't know what a beefy tee is. And Jimmy Crack Corn. Yeah. Okay, so then what I ought to do is get the doll, the 99 cent t-shirt, right? The more you, more, yeah, if they wear out oh, faster, okay. you can sell so more. So fuck the people that are buying them, right? Fuck the customers and, no. you know, all the, all the, uh, all the, uh, the viewers and the commentators and everybody else. Fuck all them, right? Just the shirt get the cheap ass you're pieces. looking for something durable. I want fucking, fucking quality. Fucking and that's what I'm saying. It's the quality. It's the fucking logo they're buying. They don't give a shit about the t-shirt. Okay. They want the fucking eagle and the fucking... But I do care. I do my care. You know why? Me, man. You know why I care? Because it's my friend Pete doing it. And my friend Pete only does shit the right fucking way. And if I'm going to wear the bullshit fucking t-shirt, the cocksucker better be fucking nice. That's going to last me throughout my fucking period of wearing the cocksucker and fucking working in it. You wear clothes until they disintegrate. SWRNC, baby. Right there. <laughs> what can I say? This is the old school. This is the, uh, this is the, this is what you call OG, my friend. Okay? OG? Yeah. Original gangsta right here. Oh. This Whatever. is it. All right, we're going new school today, dude. How about o so, OG what? means other guy? Okay, how about OG can mean uh, operational, genitile, uh, uh, saturational fucking massage? OG means all that? It could. It's got OG in it. How about that? How, how about, about how about it means older guys' genitals? You're gay. That's OGG. You talk about butt plugs and gayness all the time. And now you're talking well, about sweet teas and beefy teas. I mean, do you like a he she or something? The beefy tea is a brand, dude. It's a it's a Hanes beefy tea t shirt. Well, why did you get a teeny tea? Do they make because I want teas? the beefy teas. Everybody out there knows what a beefy tea is. Well, I don't. They're like the they're like the Cadillacs of t shirts. They're the fucking a, they're the BJ fucking best t shirts you can buy. Because I don't want it. Blowjob tea. Because I don't want it. I want to get the beefy teas. So my fucking buyer that's buying that t-shirt can say, you know what? My friend Pete's an upstanding fucking guy. He treats his fucking people the way that he wants to be treated. Like Fiat, like fuck in ass t-shirt. So, this is the situation now that you came up with all these, uh, you know, OG. initials that mean something. Yeah, I'm good at that. Yeah, I can tell. You had to sit there and think about that one for 10 minutes. This is the situation we have, okay? I'm only getting a limited supply because my money funds are low. 
So right now we're only getting a total of about 56 t-shirts. Now the sizes we're going to have, of course, the smalls, we're getting very limited production on those. Not too many people are buying smalls. Yeah, everybody's We got fat. a few mediums. Most of them are large through 3X large. And I told you to make sure to buy. You now, I do got to say one thing. I got to say one thing, and this is not just for Weekly Fuck Off Guy, but for you too. The two, the, what is it, 2X and the 3X, uh, I couldn't get beefy teas in those because those were like 10 or $12 a piece. Fucking the customer, for huh? Some, but I did do a square deal on it, and I got the next best thing, which is a non-shrinkable heavy-duty Anvil shirt, okay? Is it 100% cotton? Uh, I don't know. Then it ain't non shrink I don't know if it is or not. And for all those guys out there that wear the 2X and 3X shirts, they get them the same fucking price as Mr. So your highest Extra selling Extra. volume t-shirts are going to make the lowest margin. Have you ever heard of cost averaging? Have you ever heard Have you ever heard of this, Mr. Business Weekly Fuck Off Guy? Don't fuck your customer. Have you ever heard of this? I like to be treated like the next guy. We're getting off subject here. Fuck you and your fucking shit. I was talking about t-shirts, not fucking whatever the hell you're talking about. Talking now, about a quality service. We're on our way down to, we're on our way. You want to pay for it. How are you getting fucked? I'm glad you're not my business manager because I would be living in a Section 8 fucking house right now. I got to tell you, I'm a business group guru. Yeah, I know you a are. Guru. Yeah. And let and that, my novel, you're about you know, as I'm much like fucking. Sensei. You're about as much. You walk business. into my fucking business arena, and you're like a you're like a little we'll like have to grasshopper. Come over, we'll have to come over there and I'm look like at that. I'm like a sensei. I'm like that dude. Yeah. that's just like cool. You know what? You're calm, about a, got answers to everything. You're about as much fucking business as that throwaway paintbrush you just used. That's how much business you are. <laughs> you last about two or three hours, and you're done. Now, back to the t-shirts. We're wasting fucking precious time here. We've been talking seven minutes and 19 seconds of nothing. Thank you, loser, for wasting my time. Let's get down here to fucking Dave's, all right, and see what the fuck's going on at the t-shirt shop. Is there anything else you want to blab about before I hang it up? Anything. Is this our street? Yeah, Fuck no, it's you're not. You're lost. <laughs> Okay, we're over here at the t-shirt shop. Actually, Loser, with his four-year college degree, doesn't know what he's talking about, as usual. And Dave's here at uh, Dave's t-shirt shop and signs. Okay. How long have you been in business, Dave? Uh, 1985. 1985, that's a long time. Well, Dave is the guy that's... Years. Can I talk, dude? You here, you know what? Why don't you... Go ahead and take the camera. You can have it, and then you, I'll just stand back here and you do everything. Take three. And action. <laughs> Okay, so as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, we're over here at Dave's, Dave's T-shirt shop, located in Dallas, Texas. Yes, sir. Okay, we're over at Dallas, Texas, been in business 85, since 1985, does T-shirts for big accounts, big giant accounts. Big, small. All over the United States, all over the world, possibly. He does vehicle wraps, he does stickers, he does it all. And today, he's doing us. All right, so let's get with Dave, because we're wasting uh, camera time here looking at you and see what Dave's got to say. So, we're at your t-shirt. I see a lot of t-shirts behind us now. Is this your advertisement room here? Is this like a where you show people what kind of designs you do and all the work you do, I guess? This is like your trophy room. Yes, sir. And I see that you do it on multicolored t-shirts, multicolored printing. You do, how many color printing can you do at one time? Uh, ten color. Ten color printing. Now, is that a lot? Well, it's... I don't know nothing about t-shirts. Yeah, my, yeah. my head is in my ass right now because we're in your world, not mine. Most t-shirts are uh, six or eight color, seven color, five color, four color. Okay. But ten colors is... You know, That's like the multiple uh, extreme stuff you can do, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What now, how it? many colors is my friend Pete's shirts? The, the Southwest Rod and Custom? Uh, four. That's a four color mm -hmm. shirt, which yes, would be. It's going to be. It's a white, a base gray, a red, and a base white. Kind of like this one right here. Yes, sir. But better. But okay. better. Well, what I think, uh, can you walk us through the process, uh, what it takes to make one sure, of these t-shirts? Sure, I'll show you. Because it's really not as easy as people think. Am I correct? Or? Uh, well, once you learn it, it's okay. But yeah, it's a learning process. Okay, let's go see what we got. But This is the uh, graphics room. We have two pieces. Okay. Now, when you say graphics, what are you talking about graphics? What well, do you mean? Photoshop, Illustrator, Corel Draw. Uh -huh. We have a, a... Now, can anybody do this? Um, Could I do it? If you learn how to do it, sure. If yeah. it's a, anybody can learn anything if they put their mind to it. Right, right, right. And uh, is it that complicated though? It's a learning curve. Now the color separation—that's the big thing. Like if someone brought you a picture, like kind of like I did, and I give that picture to you, the color separation. Now you said there's a special program out. Well, we we, we have the program. Well, all programs do separations. It's just 
your experience on how to, you know, right. how to do it. We have Accurate for the raster imaging process. Now that's a program I presume. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, sir. And that's the Epson printer that does the film positives for the t-shirts. Okay. okay. That's, the, that's the newest technology out there today. So basically what you're saying is you're up to date with everything around here. Yes, sir. And when something new comes out, you're the guy that gets it. Yes, sir, I do. Automatic. I get Which that. is actually a good thing for you being in a market at, at this level. Yes, sir. What is this big old machine here? Because it looks like this printer right here is just a little bit bigger. What, what would this be used that's for? That's for the vehicle wraps. When you say vehicle wrap, are you talking like the cars you see that have, like, that are wrapped from front to back yes. with a giant sticker situation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What about those stickers? Did you get some stickers made, Dave? Uh... SWRC Actually, stick. it's on the computer. I was going to do those as yeah. we were doing your t-shirts. All right. So once the, uh, now when you said you print out the negatives, is that what you called them? Film positives. Film positive. Now, what exactly is that? A film positive is what you burn to the screen, uh -huh. which goes onto the t-shirt. Right, right. The quality of the t-shirt is directly proportional in how good the film positive is. Okay. It's so it's, is it like a clear piece yes. of plastic yes. with a print on it? Yes. And you said it's going to take four of those to make my one t-shirt. Yes, sir. Because we're not doing single color today. No. Let's go back there and see what the hell's going on, bud. Okay. All right, so what do we got in this room, Dave? Uh, what's going on? This is the exposure unit. Hold on, you're going to have to talk a little louder. We got a machine running back there. Now, what's up, bud? Uh, this is the exposure unit, uh, the vacuum frame with the Trilock registration system. Uh -huh. That means when you hang your four screens on the press, they register automatically. Okay. This is a this is the latest. So everything we do registers perfectly every time. Now this you said this is a vacuum system. So when you put your screen in there, yes. It's, now it's we're it's talking not it's it's not a screen like you hang on your door. It's a it's a special frame screen. It's a right. silk. Now don't they have like uh, count type screens like uh, real fine ones? Yes. Real, yes. Now what count screen do you use? Uh, we used 110, 156. Is that per square inches. inch or? Well, it's uh, 195 lines per inch, yes. You put the screen in here, you put yes. the, uh, the print, which I think I see one right back yes, here. Sir. Is that our? Yes. Okay, yes, so this is yes, our sir. layers of colors that yes, are going sir. on, yes, one sir. on top of the other. Yes, sir. And then you would put that on top of the screen. Yes, sir. Now, this is after you put the, uh, what's that material this called? This is, this is, this is the, the film. We take the there film. There you go, there's your film. We take the film, we put it inside. Okay. The pin bar's registration system. And we put the screen inside here. We close. And then it. you burn the screen. Yes. Now, what is on the screen? What kind of material is on the screen to burn the image into emulsion? The emulsion. Yes, sir. This is our screen room right here. Okay. When you say screen room, what are you talking about? Well, this is our screens where we keep them pre-coated before we okay before we print them. All right. And this now this is with the emulsion on them. Right. Emulsion. Which is uh, it's kind of like developing uh, a picture maybe. Right. Black and right. white photograph. See, this is a blank. This is a new screen. Okay. And actually, we picked up some new screens for your job because we wanted your you know your job high quality. So yes. you're actually saying you reuse the screens every now and then? Well, yes, you can reuse them. Reusable. But you're going to keep my screens on stock right. because hopefully we're going to sell a lot of these babies. Right. All right, so this is a screen that has the emulsion on it. Can I pull that out? Sure. This is an emulsion screen that has the liquid emulsion that right. is dried. Right. And then once you run it through the burning system with the vacuum uh, machine, it will then burn the image into it, and then you wash it off with water. Am I correct? Yes. And then what, right. would, what would come out of that? And the image? The image comes out like this. This is the image right there. Okay, so let me get this straight. This is the emulsion where the ink would not hit. Right. And then the yellow part that we see, the ink would go through those silk linings and print onto the page. Is that yes, correct? Sir. Yes, sir. All right. So what are we working now? What do we got here, Dave? What uh, is this? We're printing your job right now. Okay, what is this machine called and how does it work? This is a this is a Sportsman M&R 10 color 12 station automatic. It's an automatic. This yes, isn't a hand no, sir. job. It's an automatic. It does a thousand shirts an hour. Did you hear that? That's a lot. A thousand of shirts. shirts an hour. An hour. That's a an lot. An hour. That's at full speed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So how many at this speed would you do per hour? Well, probably two or three hundred an hour. You know, we okay. You, when you run a job like 10,000, 20,000 run, you want to kick it up. But on a small run, you don't want to run it super fast because there's no need to. So then once you run it through the machine, then you have to dry it. Now, does the ink dry very quickly or is it a slow drying process? This is the curing unit. This is an M&R Sprint 2000 uh -huh. curing unit, and it's a gas unit, which is the best. We keep it's it a it. gas heater. Gas heater. Okay. And it's we keep it at 390 degrees. All right, and then once it comes out, bam. Here comes your shirt right now, your first one. Okay, so this is... This is our shirt, right? Yes, this sir. is our SWR and C. Oh, son of a bitch, that's hot, Dave. Yes, it's a hot bastard. It's, it's, a, yes, it's a hot potato. There it is. And that's our four color t shirt right there. What do you think, loser? Hot dog. 
I, I see him pumping out of here yes, faster than yep. faster than toast in a toaster. T-shirts, SWRNC T-shirts, just folding out and rolling out, and it's it's a it's a T-shirt situation here, Dave. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Now, now, do you do these T-shirts not just here locally, but uh, around the United States? Yes, sir. And if yes, somebody sir. wanted to contact you, how would they get a hold of you, Dave? Well, just nice and clear and loud. Um, art for t at gmail.com a r t numerical four t e at gmail.com all right uh, okay hold on dave what's going on here dude this is a multicolor design what's what's up with well, this t-shirt this is a shirt but before we mess up the good shirts we we set up on an older shirt uh-huh and we once we get it set up here then we print on your shirts okay so basically what you got to do you got to set the screens properly right. to make sure everything lines up and right. your lines aren't crooked and that's what all this is going on correct there's our security guard son of a bitch now who is this hey, this who, who is this bud it's my buddy it's my best this buddy this guy here he's gonna he's gonna bite us down. is he okay you're not gonna let him out today no, are no, you dave no. No, i won't let him out here hang on hey easy no 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 okay 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 oh, Okay. Not today, okay. bud. You might scare a loser. Okay, shake a hand, make a friend, Dave. All right. And uh, it's been a great pleasure, and hopefully we're going to sell a lot of these T-shirts, and you're going to be making a lot more of them. Well, thank you. All right, buddy. We'll see you later. Okay, doke. Let's take a look at how this process is done and get our T-shirts, get them on the market so you can buy one. Anything else you want to blab about before I hang it up? Anything. Is this our street? Yeah, Fuck no, it's you're not. You're lost. <laughs>